Think. Think of all the words that are like that. Love. Life. You can really get into the feelings and the meanings. Happiness. There's something that you can touch with it. It's almost like chocolate. I mean, it can be melted in your mouth. But savor life. All the sayings, you know, stop and smell the roses. Take your time. See what's going on in the world around you. Did you hurry to get to church this morning because you were late? Or did you, like, notice the trees or the lake or the sky or the mountains and enjoy your time? It's important to take the time to care about yourself and to care about others. We're all in this together. And however it's going, it's going the same for all of us. It's to be loving and caring and sharing and doing it as a lifestyle, not a random act. That, that's so sad when you have to have a random act of kindness day. I mean, aren't we supposed to be kind all the time? It, we were so bad they had to make it you know, like a special occasion. There's something wrong with that. We need to take back ownership of our lives and our worlds and to stand strong in that. It's nobody else's fault what's going on in my life. I made those choices, including probably the one to be born. So I need to step up. We all need you to step up and to take ownership and to open our hearts and to expand and to realize what a gloriously beautiful world we live in. I look around the world and there aren't a lot of countries I'd rather live in than this one. That gives us this feeling that we have something here. What is that? To reach out and figure out what makes life here neat. Being a woman, being able to talk is a good one for me. Being able to get mouthy and complain. When I was, my second husband went to work in the Middle East, and I couldn't even visit because they figured I'd end up in jail. You know, and I went, okay, you're probably right, because I wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut on my mother's daughter, what can I say? But to really appreciate this world, and to appreciate being in it, and our time. I mean, when I got to 50, I realized I was only halfway. I'm in my 60s now, and we were talking the other day. I still got at least another 30 years to go. I want to spend that 30 years. The others were being miserable and hateful and angry and unhappy. And then there was the second part where I got all of that and you know worked on healing and therapy and all of that. I want to spend the last part really focusing on being the best being I can be of really loving and expanding, really allowing it to be whatever that is. It's so freeing. I don't have to get involved with my grandkids in a bad way, it's good. With my daughters, you know, if you're happy, whatever you decide, it's good. I don't have to judge and worry about it, and I don't have to justify. It just is now. And it's so freeing and so wonderful and now I just get to sit around and smile and laugh at what they're doing. And it's really, really nice. But I had to choose to do that. I had to choose to care more about the people and the relationship than being right, about following the rules, about measuring up, all of those kind of things. So I freed myself to start enjoying this life, which is something I didn't do the first half figure out those moments to be blessed with and to enjoy. And I can go into that state in an instant now, to just sit there. And so many times it's like I just want to sit in the car and stare at something in front of me because it's so beautiful. I don't even want to get out and walk over because it'll mess up the moment. But to take those moments and guard them and build more of them so it becomes a continuous moment and it's easy to do, but it's, it's making the first steps. <clears throat> first steps to realize you have the power. You can have and choose to have whatever you have. This isn't taken away from you. You may have a body that doesn't work. You may have a lot of things that aren't working in your life, but you've got up here still. You can imagine and you can pray and you can interact and you can remember and you can enjoy and you can savor. So when you go home today, find some really cool things to look at on the way home. 
Find something to smile about. Stop at the lake and watch an eagle. Find something beautiful to pay attention to. I did it this morning in, in the music and I almost didn't want to come back. I just wanted to stay there. It was such a safe, beautiful place. Find your safe, beautiful places and visit them over and over and over. Because we do make a difference. The world does need us. And it can be a really great place to be.